I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show for y'all. Yes. Damn good show. Yeah, so Candace and uh, Ben Shapiro, they, um, they ain't getting along no more. That's a damn shame when two white supremacists can't get along with each other. What is this, what is this damn country coming to? That was a joke. I thought it was funny. You didn't get it? Shut up. Anyway. She's white supremacy, you know, they say Candace, white face, I mean, black face, white supremacy. Um, ben, he's a, he's a Jewish Nazi. You didn't get that? I thought that was funny. That's all right. I've heard it before. That's why I ain't. Yeah. yeah. There's no shock value to it. Yeah. But anyway, there's um, a video circulating around. Uh, Jew versus the black woman. <laughs> New started it, the Jew. <laughs> Kanye tried to tell us about them damn Jews. <laughs> he tried to tell us, he tried to warn us about them damn Jews. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I support Israel. I support them, you know, defending that country, but you need to hey, hold uh, the people accountable. Hey, it's, hold up, hold up. You, you what? You need to hold the people responsible for the terrorist attack. You don't punish a bunch of other, you know what I'm saying. Oh, you support Israel defending their borders and you know striking right. back, but you should, you know, you should injure the people who you know aff afflicted this this atrocity across your your yeah the motherland. Yeah, but this is the problem. They all look the same, so fuck them all. That's the Israel take on it. Well, that's a Jewish thing to say. Yeah, <sighs> Jews. <laughs> Anyway, so Candace Owens went on Tucker Carlson's X show. Mm -hmm. Great damn show, by the way. And I did a little interview. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. Um, the internet was dominated yesterday by video of Ben Shapiro, who you work with at the Daily Wire. Um, I think it's fair to say attacking you. Here's the video. I just want to get your reaction to it. Yes, uh, and then the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this has been disgraceful. Without a doubt, Candace Owens. I can't hold that. Post the video. Um, tell you what, them damn Jews, they stick together. You know, black people can learn from the Jew. Black people don't stick together. We we hate each other. Kill you know, each other. A Jewish, like you go in a, a, a Jewish neighborhood. Uh huh. A Jew going there, right? Open up a new, him a br nice brand new Jew store, right? Selling Jew caps, sh Jew shirts, Jew Jew shoes, right? <laughs> them Jews are flock to that store and buy all that Jews merchandise to support one another. Yeah. Black community, I come, I bring in a, um, you know, bring in some weave, some 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 swisher sweet, some wave caps. Yeah. You know, support the black community. Them niggas are going there and robbing. <laughs> That's the one thing the Jew has over the American Negro. Yeah. It's no camaraderie. It's no family. Yeah, but uh, Ben said that she um, that she uh, works for his company. Now, if I, that, that, that's what I call that man. <laughs> that was a Jewish thing to say. <laughs> you work for me, Negro. I mean, I, okay, this was a private event. Obviously, Ben didn't know he was being recorded. But I'm telling you something. When you surround yourself with a bunch of your kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, uh. You show your true color. <laughs> <laughs> when I get around my conservative people, we show our true colors. Oh, I get racist as shit. <laughs> Behind closed doors, surround me with a bunch of white people. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking down about some. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little unprofessional band up. Well, he didn't know it was being recorded. He should he should well, never you should, get uh, you should, that's a colleague. You should not get up and Yeah, yeah. You should you know, I know me, you pretty bad at this. Uh, you know, thank you know, thank God, you know, no leaked video of us because we didn't say some crazy shit behind closed doors. Yeah, I'm not I'm like I'm not like Ben Shapiro. Well Ben I've said, we ten times worse than Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I've said a lot of stuff in my comedy. <laughs> But I never badmouth anybody like a colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, supposed to be business partners. Y'all supposed to be partners. And you're supposed to be a, a, a believer of freedom of speech. Well, Not just Jew speech. You can't be pro-Jew. I mean, you can be pro-Jew and pro-freedom of speech. But me, I'm like pro-Jew, pro-Palestinian. I'm all about peace. I'm very anti-war. Yeah. I think we should have called a ceasefire a long time ago, but... 
man, there's a lot of these damn Jews just want to wipe these Palestinians off the planet, it seems like. I say wipe off Hamas, but don't wipe off the Palestinians. They're, they're yeah. innocent people. Hey, uh, so let's um, let's go keep going with the video. Her, her faux sophistication on these particular issues. Those are a bunch of Jews, It's not faux sophistication, it's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that you're making, <laughs> and the things that you say, and if I'm disreputable. So maybe there's a point in the video where he explains what exactly you did wrong and how you were wrong. I, I haven't seen it. Um, but to call somebody, quote, absolutely disgraceful, particularly a coworker, seems like a pretty big step. What? And, and I really don't know the background here. What is that about? You know, there isn't much of a background. I saw the video when everybody else saw it when I woke up. Um, no one he, no one warned you about it? Nobody warned me about it. I, I, it looks like maybe he didn't know he was being recorded. It looks yes. like it was some sort of a private event. I got no clarity on the issue that he was particularly speaking on. And in what was said, I also, I can't respond to it beyond what he's saying because it's just ad hominem attacks. I don't know. Yeah, because it's not, you know, we disagree or yeah. I, you know, I, I don't think she's correct or maybe she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah, exactly. And so saying? I can't respond to it on a level of intellect because there, there's nothing that he has expressed in that, at least in that short clip that he fundamentally disagrees with in terms of what I said. But I will say that I'm not going to respond with the same ad hominem attacks. Yes. I don't think it helps further discussion. And it, if I, that was me that was caught on a video saying that about colleagues that I work with, I would be embarrassed. I would. So I think that the video speaks yeah, we'll more to Ben's character than it speaks to mine. Has he texted you to apologize or explain or anything? No, nothing. I haven't heard a single word. It just was sort of something that he said. And you know what? Ben and I have many disagreements, so I don't think that that's particularly something that's interesting. Um, we disagreed on the COVID vaccine. We disagree yes. on Ukraine and Russia. He has taken virtually every stance that has been the opposite of mine on every issue uh, over the last five years. So I don't think that that's particularly the COVID remarkable. Vaccine. Really, I didn't remember that. Yeah, he was pro the COVID vaccine. I was anti the vaccine. You know, we were all idiots for not getting the vaccine. So that's totally fine. I, I am totally open to people having a difference in opinion. Right. I would hope that amongst colleagues that it would always be civil disagreement and i would never in a private event stand on a table and talk badly about ben just just for clarity because i really don't know did, is he your boss does he i think there's a lot of misunderstanding about uh ben's involvement he's not he's not the ceo of the daily wire he yes. is not making the data agents of the daily wire and i do want to make it very clear because people are like how could you possibly stay at daily wire after this i have a very good relationship with the co-ceos the daily wire i you know especially right now the acting ceo is uh caleb robinson He's a wonderful person. He's worked very hard to be where he's at. We have a lot in common that we connect on. And so people don't get to see that, which is unfortunate. You know, Ben lives in Florida. He's not a part of the day-to-day -day movements of the Daily Wire. If we could take three steps back and give us the context for this debate, how are you on different sides of it? I, mean, no. I haven't heard you endorsing Hamas. Like you're not, no. Well, I have not endorsed Hamas in any way. <laughs> and yet people have interpreted things that I say, or actually rather things that I don't say, it's becoming very much reminiscent to me and why I have used my platform to say this of Black Lives Matter, huh. where if you don't say anything, they say your silence is violence. If you say something and it's even handed and it's nuanced, which is to say, you know, during the times of Black Lives Matter, you might say, I don't support police brutality. Who no, does? I don't support racism. Who does? But also, I think that police are a crucial part of every uh, city. We need to have pol policing in cities. So these calls to defund the police are immoral and wrong and are going to lead to more black deaths. People didn't want that nuance when Black Lives Following George Floyd, there was no nuance. You had to explicitly say, defund the police. Um, you had to post a black square. If you didn't post a black square on Instagram, by the way, specifically on the platform of Instagram, and you maybe were busy that day, maybe you were in another country, you know, maybe you just didn't log on to Instagram, you were accused of being a racist. I'm seeing a lot of that behavior right now when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a conflict that... I have seen every single person, including myself, condemn what happened on October 7th. I have because who wouldn't condemn terrorism? It's obvious right. who would not condemn innocent Israelis dying. But if you then say that it is also sad when an innocent Palestinian child dies, suddenly this is pro Hamas, or you need to say, even when you're talking about how sad it is that a child dies, you need to button that statement by saying, but that child was a human shield. That's not going to be my response. Um, first off, as a mother. That's not going to be my response as somebody who is about to do to give birth when I see these images of children yes. involved on both sides of the conflict. I've pointed to the, the people that are mocking dead Israeli children and said that they are horrific. I am even keel on this matter. And yet people think that you need to be extreme. So people that have become more radical and extreme are perceiving 
a moderate stance as not enough. And because you, I was about to say, you don't, people can disagree with you or agree with you or whatever, but you certainly don't seem radical on this topic. <laughs> Definitively not radical. Uh yeah, she's got the stance that I got. Yeah. I'm like very anti-war. Yeah. It just want... turns out, see, Ben has a problem with this because he's a Jew. Yeah, he's let that Jew, he's got that Jew bias. And he's got family out there in Israel, right? He's got family, so he's, so he's, he's close to his situation. Yeah, he's too close to his situation. Yeah, but... It's just like when I, okay, like we had a lot of our comedy shows when we was on tour canceled by the LGBTQ because LB they say who? LGBTQ. Yeah, you've got right? the T, you've got transsexuals. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with all you that. You can't forget about the transsexuals. Yeah, it's like. Oh, well, it's not transsexuals, transgender, sorry. Yeah, it's like they say we're anti-gay or whatever. I'm not anti-gay. I just criticize gay people. Yeah. I'm not against gay people. I don't think y'all should not exist. I mean, I think a lot of y'all were born fucked up, so <laughs> y'all have no choice in it. You see what I'm saying? So. They say I'm homophobic. I'm not homophobic at all. And just because I say I don't want Palestinian kids to die, <laughs> it makes me pro Hamas? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It just makes me pro human. Yeah. If you care more about white Jewish babies dying than brown Palestinian babies dying, did you have a problem? You have to actually take a, a look in the mirror. Because I'm all about Israel going after Hamas and punishing them for what they did to to their people. But when you just say Oh, they're using babies as shields? That's just all bullshit. Yeah. All that's bullshit. That's just a pretext for y'all to kill more innocent lives. That's all that is. Well, I don't think, well, it's, we're conservative. You're supposed to be pro Jew, Kevin. <clears throat> You're supposed to be what? You're supposed to be pro Jew. You're supposed to, like, no. Nah, I'm, I'm pro life. That's what I am. You got him with that one. Oh, I killed him on that. Oh, right, they, they, they ain't got nothing to say. They speak. But, they sit back on the corner. Man, how can I combat that? How can I refute? Oh, He's pro life. You know what they're going to say? You have my sympathizer. <laughs> That's all they got to say. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so wouldn't it a damn, So a Jew started all of this <laughs> over the Daily Wire. A Jew started. <laughs> say, Kanye tried to warn everybody. Say, man, I'm telling you, these damn Jews. Hey, um, what did Kanye say to pissed off Ben? Just what he told Tucker. Because he's he takes very a anti life approach. He's yeah. anti war. Yeah, but Jews are like, no, they did that. They committed this 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 terrorist attack. They took all these innocent people, killed these innocent children. So right. now we need to take some of theirs. Yeah. Just because they all look the same don't mean they're Hamas. It just means they're Palestinian. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, just to break it down, they're actually punning, punishing Palestinians for what a terrorist, terrorist organization did. Well, That's they, like uh, Mississippi have a group of white supremacists, right? Uh, uh, they call them the Mississippi uh, Aryan race, right? They go to Israel, do the exact same thing as Hamas did. That's like Israel bombing Mississippi and everybody in Mississippi where they from, from that neighborhood. Oh, it's not my fault they're just using babies as human shields. It's the same thing Israel's doing, theoretically. That's your theory, right? It's a theory. No, that's not a theory. That's a pro Hamas theory. I'm serious. Conservatives love them some Jews, man. <laughs> I look, I'm on Instagram. It's like, you can be pro Jew and not be um, pro Hamas. <laughs> yeah, if you say one thing outside of uh, like defending Jewish people yeah. and their right to live, you're Hamas. Yeah. I mean, I know I look like them, but. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if we went to um, Israel, oh, man, I had a nephew who went out there. He said, man, he said, man, I, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> I'll say it. He said, those people's racist as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've seen video how they treat black people and well, how they treat well, Christians. Well, uh, well they got that's the subjective. It's yeah, anecdotal. No. It's an anecdote on no, me. We, we, we're spreading the sentiment that Jewish people are, like, perfect. Like they don't do no wrong. It's 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 everybody just. Hey Kevin, what? you didn't know the Jews was like those are the chosen people. You didn't know that. <laughs> they act, shut up, man. No, I'm serious. You can't they ain't chosen for nothing. You can't disparage a Jew. I can disparage a Negro. I can disparage. Oh, that was a fair you. game. Nobody likes Negroes. <laughs> I can disparage. Uh, I, well, I, I don't disparage anybody. I criticize people. I can criticize the Jewish people. No, you can't. Okay. Candace Owens is proof. Like, look at this video we came across on Instagram. This well, hold, is up, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, that's on, um, that's on the uh, uh, 
Oh, I can't show that on YouTube. Can't show that on YouTube. That's what we're gonna talk about on a lot of crowds. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll end the video with it. I'm gonna show you this crazy Jew. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sentiment of Jew. Matter of fact, I think hope. because the reason why I feel that they share this sentiment is because nobody's trying to call a ceasefire. They love bombing innocent people over in Palestine, in uh, Gaza. Well, this is just one woman, Kevin. They said that the one Jew woman. But let's let's go back to the Ben Shapiro. I'm sure they're going to be work things out. Like Ben Shapiro, he's like, from what Candace said, he's not like the the head honcho over there. He's not coming as a hey, Negro. You're fired. Get out. He he ain't running shit like that. He said that in front of a bunch of them damn private the, the Jews at that private <laughs> that private little party they was having. You know how you surrounded by Jews and you Jew, it just pumps you up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See you, all those little cats. <laughs> <laughs> see them little curls coming down. <laughs> I ain't yeah, see that. I see what the hell I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm sure they'll be able to work things out. It sounds like Candace is having a blast over it, um, over there, and she's she's. I uh, really don't understand why people don't go de- independent. You won't have this problem. <clears throat> you wouldn't have this problem if well, I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> you know, what's I know what ki- you're gonna say. I'm gonna go ahead and say. You know what's killed more people than anything on this planet? Religion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is the great. You know what's going to end this planet? It's not going to be global warming. It's going to be religion. I don't know whose idea it was to give Jews a bunch of nukes. (laughs) Fucking stupid in my book. (laughs) What Jews need some nukes for? Yeah. That's to like to destroy everything, right? Why you give them a bunch? Did the Jews make them? (laughs) Jews ain't made no nukes. (laughs) Who gave them the nukes? Was it the U.S.? It was the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Jews. Have, have y'all some, have y'all about three, four hundred nukes. If you're going to give them a nuke, give them one or two. You gave them like a hundred nukes. I wouldn't give them a nuke. I'd give maybe a nuke grenade. <laughs> if it was me, I was probably, I'd just give them some bow and arrow. <laughs> Don't no hey, Jew. No damn, no damn Jew need no damn nuke. <laughs> That's crazy to give Jews fucking nukes. I mean, look at how they've been, um, Look how they've That's been like oppressed. giving Iran nukes. Yeah, look how they've been oppressed. I mean, because of what Hitler did. And then you're going to give somebody that got that. That's like giving niggas nukes. <laughs> <laughs> they've been oppressed. What are yeah. they going to do? They learn. They've been. What's that? Let, uh, me show, let me tell you how. Let me break it down how crazy it is. Look how, you know, blacks, we've been oppressing this country, right? That's Imagine giving blacks all of California, right? Right? Say, so this is uh, Wakanda. And then give them Negroes some nukes. <laughs> That's what the United States did with these damn Jews. <laughs> that shit crazy. Imagine a bunch of niggas with nukes. <laughs> that shit, that's, that's suicide. Why would you give Negroes nukes? Yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, rest of this show. Yeah, let's go to the Jew video, and this is what we're going to be discussing on our uh, Rumble show today on Stephen Crowder's network. Check this Jew out. <laughs> Only innocent people that are in Gaza now are the 229 hostage that were taken. Once they will go.